Hey, this is Matt Weaver from Brady Precision. In this video, we are taking a look at this, which is a Belimo room sensor. Really neat little communicating room sensor. So don't look at something like this for uh, getting some analog outputs uh, that you could use into any other controller. This only communicates BACnet and Modbus. And it does have a single digital input. But other than that, that's all you get. The digital input, BACnet, or Modbus out for communicating. But you do get a lot of features for it. So first thing you'll probably notice is that this screen looks super crisp. It's using an e-ink display just like a Kindle would. So very easy to read. Uh, really sharp. Good contrast. Uh, I really like that about this sensor. And this one is fully decked out. So you can see that it's got... CO2, our current temperature, and humidity. And then we also have uh, a bunch of other options on the display that are totally configurable over BACnet and Modbus. Uh, so we can show the mode, we can show if we have any errors, we can show that if that um, digital input is open or closed, so if we're using it for something like a window or a door, uh, we can show that status up here in the corner. And then we've obviously got our temperature set point configurable to be absolute or relative. And then down below, we've got an on-off. Again, totally configurable. You can hide that if you don't want to use it. And then a boost mode, our fan uh, current speed. We can configure that as we need to. And then an eco mode. Last thing that I'll note is there's this little LED on the side here. Come on, camera. You can do it. There we go. Uh, this little LED on the side here that will, uh, they call it a traffic light for your CO2. Uh, so it will change colors based on when you reach certain thresholds of CO2 in your space. So um, next up, I want to show you how the NFC works. So this sensor is um, equipped with near field communications. So you can use your phone to do the configuration of the sensor itself without having to plug in your computer or change dip switches or anything like that. Again, you could see that as a positive or a negative depending on your feelings um, on things. But let's pop over to my phone and so that you can see how you would set this up, say, to talk BACnet. All right, so we've got the uh, Apple App Store open now, and the app that we want to use is called Belimo Assistant. And I've got that installed already, so I'm going to open it up now. And it's going to tell me, uh, scan your device, hold your phone near the NFC on the device. So I'll just hold it to the sensor here. You can see it is connecting and scanning now. And now we are set. So it's actually pretty neat. When you have this powered, you can see the current status, temperatures, um, humidity, CO2, because my sensor has those abilities built in. Um, and then we could also see the value of our digital input. If we were using that, I'm not using it currently. Advanced operations we're not going to look at, but configuration we will. So uh, you have a bunch of options in here for the configuration. You could set a location name if you wanted to. You can change the application configuration. So I'll just make this a sensor. Um, we can change our temperature set point, the way that works. We'll leave it as is. Same for CO2. We'll leave it as is. The important part is if, um, which you would be, because this is a communicating stat, you need to know what's going on with your communication setup. And this is how you would do it. So down here at the bottom, you've got your complete setup for how you want your BACnet MSTP to operate. Uh, right now, I've manually put in this address of 15, our baud rate 38.4. Um, if you wanted to have this have a, act as a terminating resistor, you could do that as well. Um, so all of those features are here for you, and you also have the ability to change that bus protocol to Modbus or MP bus if you chose to do it. In my case, um, I just made this change for the application configuration. So I'm going to say I want to write. Again, it's going to tell me to get close to the sensor so that it can make that write. And we're all set. Now uh, our sensor is set up properly. And now we're going to jump into Niagara real fast. And I'll just show you what the points look like from that end. 
All right, so I'm in Niagara now, and from the Niagara side of things, this performs exactly as you would expect for a BACnet MSTP device. Um, I just had to go into my BACnet network, get it connected to my JS9000 here on my bench, do a discover, it came in uh, right away, and then I went into the controller itself, and my points, did a discover, and everything pops up that way. So in your points, you've got a whole bunch of options, like I mentioned before, for how you want to configure and show the values on that display. If I um, alphabetize these points now, you can see that we have a whole bunch of points that are called show and then something. Those are going to be for uh, enabling and disabling the visibility of that particular property or value. And when I change the configuration on my uh, sensor here to just be a sensor as opposed to, I think it was, I guess, heat pump control before, um, it hid a whole bunch of options that I had manually enabled previously. And you can see that uh, here, much less going on on that display now than there was previously. So you have that complete flexibility to do that. And it's nice that when you use the NFC, it can kind of get you into a good starting place. But you can come back in here and re-enable some of those things. Um, get to your set points. You know, all of the values and points that you would expect to see are all here and available to you. Um, you can even do some interesting things like uh, the warning you could have come up based on uh, whatever you write to uh, a specific value in the um, points here as well. So hopefully that was informative for you. I do think that this sensor has a place um, communicating interesting um, display technology. It's using e-ink as opposed to a normal LCD. And um, if you need a communicating thermostat, it's uh, manufacturer agnostic. You can use it for any buddy's controller or just have it go back to Niagara and do some control there if you wanted to. Um, as long as it talks backnet, you can bring this sensor into it. The only caveat being, obviously, it needs power, so you need to get 24 volts to it wherever you end up mounting it. So hopefully that was helpful. Thanks for watching. Uh, like and subscribe if you haven't already. If you have any questions about this sensor or maybe any of other Belimo sensors, um, a lot of the other ones are just typical you know, analog sensors, not... Uh, communicating or anything like that. But if there's interest, we can take a look at those as well. Um, and thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.